Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Wingspan. We've got a Carolina Wren in the tray, which is a good starting card. We got the Sapsucker, which is an even better one. And we have got the Black Turn. Oh, let's see here. I think we're going to sneak in our friend, the Whooping Crane. I think we can get that pretty quick. That'll help with our end of round goal. Sap sucker down. I'm gonna get food. Should be able to get both those guys down and eggs in them with a little luck, maybe. Maybe not. Colors. Seems like the obvious choice. We have two already. Of course, tucking powers is nice. We like our tucking power cards. Mm, only two. Well, eh. stick to this. We're going to try not to chase bonus cards this game and end of round goals, but I feel like as of late I've been really focused more on end of round goals at the expense of my engine. Don't know if that's true or not. Oh, Spotted Toe is an excellent fault. Where did he put it? Forest is not a terrible play. I am going to be getting grubs, and my opponent is going to be getting uh, grain. I think grubs are slightly better. So we need either the fish or the grub. My opponent is actually. Let's grab that guy. A little tougher on my opponent. My opponent's getting ready to play a second card in the forest. And what shall that card be, I ask you? Oh, I do not mind that. White powers this early. Of course, I will be doing the same thing with my crane. Does he have, he does have one ground nest, so. With a little luck, we'll still be able to eke out that uh, end of round goal. I think we're gonna grab up that Night Heron if we get a chance after we get R2. After we get our two wetland birds down, we're going to grab a cherry to make the reroll a little tougher on my opponent because we have the crane, which eats whatever the heck you want to feed it. So let's see your five turns. Play the crane. Lay some eggs. Play the turn. Lay more eggs, and that does give us one turn for the heron. So that's good. We can also grab the... the uh, that ran for a second card in our forest would be quite nice. So we'll see if it remains. We have got Forester and we've got Big Birds. Let's see here. We're going to do a little zoom in action. The Black Turn does not meet that goal. Uh, let's see here. The Night Heron does, I bet. Yep. So we'd only need one more for four. I think we're going to go with Forester if we get that Wren. So I guess Forester it is. I have a kitty cat who wants some pets currently. Hello, kitten. Yeah. So my clicking might be somewhat hindered. That does mean we're going to have to grab three car four cards in our forest, which sometimes I, I'm pretty happy with, too. So hopefully, again, I don't, I don't know. 
Didn't I just give a whole speech about how I'm going to not be chasing bonus cards and whatnot? I want it grabbing food. They still have a card left to play. Next up, we have Bowl Birds, which almost screams for that uh, black gross beak, blue, blue gross beak. But again, we're going to be focusing on engines, not on end of round goals. Just got to keep telling myself that. Get them eggs down so I can play my turn. If that Wren and Heron are still in the tray, I'll be a happy man. My opponent has nothing in the wetlands yet. Getting more food, that's wild. Starting to feel like, well, let's see what food they get. Yep, they're going after that night heron. We're going to grab it up first. Sorry, Charlie. It can cost us an egg, but <clears throat> sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Then we still have time to play our turn and get our two eggs down. Well, they get an eagle to compensate. So you win some, you lose some. I like the Night Heron better, I think. A little easier to get down. Yeah, single card draw. How do you like that? Golden Eye would be nice, but we're not going to be able to get anything because we got to lay our eggs. So, again, it's got a color in its name. Gross beak going down does not worry me too much. So we get the first end of round goal. Well, we do like that blue jay. So let's grab it. Grab it while the grabbing's good. Now we, then we definitely need to start thinking about the grassland. That's not really going to do it, is it? So let's see what else we can nab here. Mm, better, I suppose. Let's get rid of our boba link. Buick's wren. Not an ideal bird either. I wonder if our friend goes it and does the double migrator grow speak Buick's wren. Those are both considered to be not particularly great cards, so it'd be pretty funny if that's what they wind up doing. They are twin cards when it comes to powers, food costs, point value. Don't think they're, no. Where do gross beaks like to nest? They like bowl nests. So that's the one difference between the two. I think we grab a cherry. Hmm. Maybe we do one more round of card draw so that we can then, since the since the uh, the tray is not favorable, might be nice to do a little more card draw. Then we have cards to discard. think that maybe we, I don't know. Oh, it's got colors in it. Oh, that's good. That we like. Get one more off the top. Grab that bird with colors in its name. Now once we get the Carolina Wren and the Nuthatch down. A Goldfinch also has colors in its name. 
Uh, let's see here. So we've got one, two. Oh, we already have the blue J, so we don't need the we don't need the wren. The wren has got to go for sure. We like the nuthatch and the blue jay better. Don't think we're going to need more cards. The gull goes down. We'll grab this guy. We're not going to discard. We really would like to get that <clears throat> blue jay down next, I think. Due to its bull bird status. But I think we're going to get down our nut hatch since we can play it now. We are not going to be chasing those end of round goals. That will give us a three food generation and a point out of our forests, and that is highly respectable. We're gonna follow it up. Ooh, we got food for our night hare in there. That might be nice. So down goes our nut hatch. Then with a little luck, we will grab the rat and the fish. Feeling okay about where we are. Not going to win the next end of round goal, but life will go on. We could forfeit that food for the night heron. Get our blue jay down. And get to, to tie it up. But, yeah, maybe it's for the best. We will take the rat at least. And then our forest is going to be out of control with its food generation. We don't have much for the grasslands yet. Just a couple, three white power birds. Probably not the best. I do not believe that was a bull nest. It was not. Get rid of a grub. You would have to lay down another bird with a bull nest currently to pull ahead at that end of round. We are tied up on our bird count at this point. Grabbing some cards. What do they take from the deck? Okay. So, so, oh no, they've got one more turn to lay eggs. Lose his gross beak since he will be laying eggs next. Oh, it's eggs and bowls. Man, that stinks. 
I always misread that one, so we'll just fill up our turn. He will be able to pull ahead on that one. But that's okay. Okay, now we obviously need to start getting stuff down in our grasslands. We have very little by means of point generators. We have nothing by means of point generators. Again, all white power birds. <clears throat> I wonder if saying white power so much is going to get me a strike on YouTube. Certainly hope not. That fish remains. Just gonna, yeah, there it goes. But that's okay. There will be other options to get fish, and I don't think we're going to be hurting for food, although we still, there are no grains for our J. We should be able to get it on the reroll. That rat is not going to do us any good. I think we're going to draw some cards. If we get nothing but junk still, we will tuck them for food. Or discard them for food, I should say. Yellow, white, blue, that's three, four, five, we have all six for our photographer, so that's nice. Well, we got to re-roll on the tray now. Mm, let's take it. That's nice. We'll do that. That set us up nicely. So now do we overpay for the goldfinch? Hmm. I feel like we roll again. Well, I guess three, three grains. No, we still need more grubs anyways. Take a fish. Hope for more grain, please. Perfecto. Give me all that grain. Actually, we don't need that much more since we're going to get three now. Uh, we will cash it. We are running out of time here. I feel like we're going to peter out at the end because we have no point generators in our grasslands. But we will have high point value birds, so we'll see. Maybe yet another bonus card that will knock our socks off. We're just going to start laying down cards here. Play one. We could play three and then lay eggs, which I think is the plan. Yeah, I think we got all the food we need. Precisely. Plus extra with the goldfinch. So that's cool. That's cool. So we're going to do well on our bonus cards at least. And let's hope for one more nice one with our pipe it.
Not just drawn cards. <clears throat> Okay, oh, we're going to be extra. I forgot that Goldfinch is a color. We're going to have seven colors. Let's go for that bonus card. be nice to have body parts. It looks like we have three. And with crowned, if crowned counts, we would have that one maxed out too. So let us hope. Fingers crossed. Wonder what my opponent is thinking about. <clears throat> Maybe that Avocet. He's got the food for it. Is he going to take another round? Laying or grabbing cards. Got a nice little engine there. Two points. We will just have to see. Nope. Laying some eggs. Going for food. Okay. Big money, please. Big bucks. No whammies. Okay. Bowl nest, one egg on them. I don't think the bowl nest is going to quite cut it. We've got one, two, three. We'll have four, so we will get the minimum bound for that, which is four points. We'll have nine cards down. That's going to just pretty much obligate us to lay eggs in the final turns is that do we want that those handcuffs on us um yeah we're not going to roll the dice and hope we get a bomb that we like at the end of the game we will definitely be going with oologist for the six points okay so we're gonna have good bonus cards <clears throat> is it going to pull us through is the question. And we've got two grains to discard for eggs. Don't think we're going to be... Well, we have we don't have much by way of... Uh, by way of egg space, that might be a problem. We will see. Well, we're only going to have four turns of laying eggs, so... I think we'll be okay. We'll have two slots taken, so we'll just have to see. Oops. <clears throat> we are, <laughs> my opponent and I are remaining tied. It's pretty good. Opponent has two. Well, we can undo that. Well, now we'll hold on to our food. You never know. <clears throat> Something really strong might arise. Don't think we're going to win. Well, our opponent has still no, no egg generation, so we should be able to get that final end of round goal with a little luck. How did we get <clears throat> another fish is the question. Must have missed something there. Okay, well, egg spam and pray. Current. Let's see what my opponent has in store. Grabbing food. Three cards to his name. He's got plenty of food generation, that's for sure. We'll see if our investment in our grasslands is going to pay off. 
or my opponent. I think it will, because we can just generate points every single turn now. My opponent can do three at a time. We'll see. We will see. Got to remember to get at least one egg on all my other birds. Hopefully that does not deter us from the end, the final end of round goal. I think my opponent's going to get the last one too. So it's, it is going to be a close game. Oh, double play coming. Not too worried about the Ferginius Hawk. Good points for him, though. Still in the lead. We're both scoring f four. So he has, oh, well, maybe that for Guinea's Hawk. It's only one food in the tray, though. So feeling pretty confident in that, at least. And we have three good bonus cards. My opponent has two. We'll see if they're good enough. I predict them getting this end of round goal. We only have eight. My opponent is easily going to get more than eight. Nine. He's going to have nine. Oh, cruel fate. Let's just see. It's going to be a close one. Can be a little tough. My opponent despairs. <clears throat> oh, wait, getting more food. Are you getting more food? What the heck was that? Okay. Well, wait, seriously, did you get more food? Why would you do such a thing? That works. Works for me. Should not have given any hints. Still, that, that might have cinched it there. got one more turn left he can get four yeah should not have said anything but he did waste a turn getting food which is fantastic zero points out of that turn so that did just absolutely absolutely cinch it for us unless he has just got two What's he going to do? Yeah. Here we go. Well, that clinches it. Everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. Look at all them birds with colors. Wow. Not a bad score.
I'm going to place it on, on top of the bad luck. Still a fun game. It was indeed. GG. My friend here wants to have a conversation. So uh, we will end the video here. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. What's he going to say? Should we just hold? Nah. Nah. We're done.